So now all the footage I want in this project is there. The next step is to edit it to my liking. This is really where drag and drop editing comes in. At the start of the video I have a shot of this Mississippi Headwaters sign. I'd like to start with the second shot though, of everyone walking across the rocks. So to do that I'm going to remove the shot of the sign from the project by just selecting it and hitting the delete key. Now I can bring it in again and place it over the video in the project browser. Release and a list of possible edits comes up. Replace will swap out the entire clip I dragged this clip onto, which isn't what I want. I will just type Command Z to undo. The other replace commands will replace part of the clip being overlaid with the new one either at the beginning, end, or from wherever your playhead or cursor is. The insert edit will split the clip being overlaid and place the new clip in between. It, it, it's a delay. This okay, is more like no, what I want, but I'd rather not have the audio switch from the first clip to the audio in the sign clip. To make that happen, I will do a cutaway edit. This places the new clip above the overlaid clip in the browser. Now to turn off the audio in the sign clip, I can click on this little gear icon in the lower left of the clip and choose audio adjustments, which brings up the inspector with the audio panel open. Just move the volume to zero and now the sign clip comes in, but the audio from the main clip remains. This is good, but I'd like the sign clip to stay up a little longer, and I might want to move it a little. iMovie makes those adjustments very easy. Just click and drag. To expand how long the clip plays, click and drag and end out. I'll extend this to about 5 seconds. I'm also going to move it a little to the right so it starts a little later on in the video. Just click and, the, click and drag in the center of the sign clip to move it as a whole. I might want to magnify my view of the browser a little to get this just how I want it. Another interesting edit that iMovie 09 can do is picture in picture. So this time I'll, I will drag the sign clip over and choose picture in picture. It lays on top of the original clip, just like in the cutaway edit, but in the viewer you can see it's tucked into the upper right corner. Click and drag on these white corners to make it larger. Or just click and drag in the center to place it anywhere in the viewer. Double click on the sign clip to bring up the inspector. The clip panel has a bunch of new options because this is a picture in picture edit. I can adjust the duration, add a video effect to the sign, adjust the speed, add a dissolve to the picture in picture effect which I will do, and I can also add a border or drop shadow here. I'm also going to choose to smooth this clip iMovie will analyze only the short sign clip, not the entire event. So remember, double click the overlaid clip to bring up the new picture in picture options. So now as I play it back it looks pretty good. And of course I can adjust the sound like we did before in the cutaway edit by going into the audio adjustments. Okay, now just do it a few seconds. We will work more with cutaways and picture-in-picture -picture edits later in the course when we talk about creating custom titles and transitions.